Everyone's familiar with the idea of giving tzedakah, charity. Pamanim does it in a special and unique way. Right. Uh, basically, what's uh, special about Pamanim is that it's not charity, like as the word means it. It's basically helping families to get back on their feet. Um, families turn to Pamanim where, when their financial state is bad, when they've got a lot of debts, when they don't know how to how to pay off their bills, and Pamonim, instead of giving them money, we actually help them stand back on their feet and, count, and give them counselling how to do it. Uh, what's amazing about Pamonim is that we are based on volunteers. We have 2,800 volunteers around the country, and these volunteers are actually the people that come to these families' houses and help them um, build up a support system, they help them to build up a um, a way of giving back the money, of managing to pay off their bills, and uh, just leading a normal life uh, and not be worried the whole time about their financial state. We were just a normal family. We had a mortgage on our house, two cars, over the on the bank account. We were comfortable, more or less. And then Neil was fired. We weren't worried at first, but then the surveillance money ran out and our overdraft hit its limit. So we took out a 50,000 shekel bank loan. That was when we lost control. The mortgage, the loan, the endless payments. Then one day our credit card was declined and our checks started bouncing. We lived in a constant fear, not knowing if we would have enough money for gas or food. And today we're talking actually about a campaign which is more like the classic Dhaka because sometimes the families need that first big, big help and push. Tell us about this campaign. So we have about 100 families that have turned to Pamonim um, that their financial state is very bad and they have a lot of debts that they need to give back. And in order to start off and be able to work with them somehow, um, we need to give them a certain amount of money. And what's uh, special about this campaign is that for every dollar that we will get from around the world, we'll have in Israeli donors that will double it. We're still at the point where we need the first part. I think what we re we've received from Pamonim at this point is to really gain a picture of what our finances look like. I think it's a huge mitzvah. <laughs> it's almost as important as Yeshua Arts of settling the land. In, in essence, they're supporting the people who are actually living here and actually living the land. And I think that it's it's mamash it's it's so it's so important that that there are people supporting Israel the people just supporting the people who actually live here in the land because it's not easy with these families it's all about the connection it's about continuing after this uh, charity comes in right so what we actually need to give them are the tools how to continue after we leave because we we come to the families and we give them assistance for it can be sometimes a few weeks a few months but when it finishes they've got to get back on their feet and know how to handle handle the money on their own and and, and they do it. Then a friend told us about Pamonim. We felt like someone had lit a lamp in the darkness. They made us believe it was possible to get out of the mess we were in. They taught us to take responsibility. They showed us our financial reality and gave us all the guidance we needed. But it was clear that the real change had to come from us. It was hard. It still is. But we have someone showing us the way. We feel like we've been saved.